Hey guys, so if you're building out a landing page or any particular page that you're wanting to hide the site header on, I'm going to show you three different ways to achieve it using Generate Press free and premium. All right, so on my website here, I'm going to use the home page as the example. And what we want to do is essentially hide the header on this page only. Um, so this is a good example for when you could do on a landing page, maybe you're sending people to this page from a ad that you're promoting or um, just want people to not navigate away from. So you want to hide your navigation main header so that they just stay on that page and perform the call to action you're squeezing them to. Um, so the three different ways you can do this depends if you have Generate Press free version or Generate Press premium. So the first version I'll show you is if you have Generate Press free. Now what you need to do is edit the page you're wanting to hide it on. And in the URL, we need to locate the post ID. So this is post 144. We can see it right here in our URL. It says post equals 144. Yours is most likely have a different number. Um, this is important so that we only target this page itself. So if we come back to our page, jump into the customizer, and go to additional CSS. We're gonna create a few spaces here and we'll go ahead and start writing some CSS. So first we need to write page ID 144. This is where your number is going to come into play. Um, this is targeting only this page itself. And then because we're using Generate Press, we'll insert the class that pertains to the header and Generate Press theme. So it's period site dash header. Now we'll open the brackets and we'll say display colon none. Now you can see as soon as I finish it off, type none, the header disappeared. Um, and just to show you that it is in fact only hiding on this page, we'll go ahead and click this button to navigate to a separate page of the website. And you can see our site header is visible. And as we jump back to the home page, it's hidden. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that code now because we want to explore the additional ways you can do this a little bit easier using Generate Press Premium. So we'll exit out of the customizer and jump into the dashboard. Okay, so this second uh, method using Generate Press Premium, the first method using Premium, second method overall, um, involves utilizing Generate Press elements. So first, what you want to make sure is go to Appearance Elements and activate the Elements module add-on. Once that's done, jump over to Elements and you can click Add New Element. This, we're going to create a layout element. With the layout element, we can title this, say, um, Hide the Header. And what we'll do is go to the Disable Elements tab and under Site Header, the very first option, go ahead and check that box. Okay, and now when we come over to our Display Rules tab, we're going to add a location rule. And because we're editing our, our home page, this is in fact our front page. So we're gonna choose Front Page for Location and go ahead and hit Publish. So now come to your home page once again, hit Refresh. And there it goes, your site header has disappeared. You can do this, of course, on any particular page in multiple pages. If you wanted to also say um, a page, come down to page, and we say the about page, we want to also hide the site header. We can come to about, and there you go, the about is also hidden from that page, the site header. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and delete this element because on our third option for hiding your site header, we don't want it, this to interfere. So we're gonna move this to the trash. Now, before we uh, jump into the third option, we first have to go again to Appearance Generate Press and make sure that Disable Elements Module Add-on is activated. So jump into your pages, visit the page that you want to hide the site header on, and in the sidebar, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is a section for Disable Elements. The second option on my screen is Header. So we're gonna go ahead and select that, click Update, 
Now come to our front end of our page, refresh, and there goes our site. Header is now hidden. So as you can see, uh, the three different ways that you can hide your site header using Generate Press are all pretty simple. Uh, Generate Press Premium really makes it easy and intuitive by just checking a box or creating a layout element. Um, but if you're comfortable with CSS uh, and locating your page ID number, um, that's also a pretty easy option for Generate Press Free. Thanks for watching. See you next time.